Hi everyone, this is a quick follow-up video to my previous video around installing RetroArch on the Xbox. Um, a few people have asked about how uh, to use games from USB. Uh, obviously in the video I show how to uh, transfer um, games etc across the Xbox using FTP. Um, on the older Xbox that limits you to roughly 16 gig. On the newer Xboxes, kind of the Series S, Series X, I think that increases to about 32 gig, but obviously still if you've got a large collection, um, you probably want some more space. So yes, you can use USB. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. Obviously this guide comes from um, the Game of 13 guys themselves. They've got it on their Discord server. Um, so it's, it's, their, uh, it's their property. I'm just kind of redoing it in a video format, make it easier for you guys to see and obviously just answer the questions that have been asked. So um, it's, it's fairly straightforward. So uh, what you want to do is go to, go to this web address. There's this utility this guy's created. Uh, will actually format and set up the USB drive for you. Uh, so in order to do it, you basically um, it needs to be formatted in NTFS format, and it needs um, certain permissions set on the drive so the Xbox can actually read and use the drive. Um, so obviously to do this, um, you will need access to a, a Windows PC. Um, it's, it's a, it's a Windows-based app that you use. Um, so yeah, without further ado, go to this address, I'll put it in the description, uh, download the, uh, the program, most of you probably go for this one unless you're a Windows ARM based uh, system. But yeah, go for the go for the zip. And also I've already plugged in my USB drive. I'm just using a little a small 16 gig USB stick to demo it, but obviously plug in whatever whatever you're using. So I'm just gonna save that. Actually what I'll do is I'll open it rather than downloading it. So it's basically it's a zip file. Inside you've got this folder. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just drag that out. It's basically extracting that from the, from the zip file. Let me just close this out the way. So here's the, uh, oh, the well. so here's the folder that's inside that, that zip. And in here we have the, the executable. So what we'll do is just double click this to launch. And it opens up like this. So you've got two options. You can, if you've got a USB drive that you need to format and basically do from scratch, pick this option, drop down left to show you all your drives. Mine is the E. Obviously make sure you get the right one very important because it will format and wipe the drive so make sure you've definitely picked as it says there make sure you got the right one um, what you can do if you want to if you've already got a USB drive that's already got some data on it you've already put some games onto it and it's formatted with NTFS already um, and you don't want to you know lose all that and have to recopy it all back on you can just use this option same thing pick the drive and click add permissions and it will just change permissions on the drive in order for it to work in Xbox so you don't have to basically wipe it and start again but yeah in my case we're not going to do that we're, we're just going to do this option here so i'll just clear that by closing and reopening so yes so method one complete format of the, of the drive and then a setup so select it hit start do you really want to format obviously I'm warning you that's going to raise everything as i just said so yes so it gives you option now as well. I think this is a, a new addition that it can actually go and create some folders on the drive for you ready, which is handy. So, yep, no reason not to say yes to that one. And that's it, it's done. It's prepped the drive. So, now if you look on my PC, you see it's given it this name Xbox Media USB, it's my E drive. Um, and then we'll see here, it's created some folders inside for me. So, there's a BIOS folder. So, you can copy um, all the BIOS files needed for RetroArch into there. There's a RetroArch folder itself, which has got kind of all the kind of folders that RetroArch uses. So you can copy thumbnails, artwork in, you can, you know, playlist. Any other bits and pieces you want to copy in, you can put into these folders here ready. Uh, the main one though that you're probably interested in is the games folder. And what it does is it creates all these all these folders for you with all the sort of, I guess the common common uh, systems and consoles, etc. supported. So they're all just empty folders. So you basically say Fen64, chuck all your games in there. Um, Game Boy, etc. Um, this isn't, you know, you, you can add to this if you want to, if there's other systems. I think this covers most systems that, that RetroArch and Xbox can emulate, but if there's any others that you find you need, just, yeah, just literally right click, new folder, and, uh, and add what you need. So, yeah, stick all your games in the right folder. Once you're done, eject this from your PC, um, safely eject it. And then pop it into your Xbox, and you should be good to go. And you can then, once you fire up RetroArch on the Xbox, just add the games into your playlist as, as you normally would. 
Um, so I'm pretty sure then this method means that you no longer need the FTP app um, on your Xbox. Obviously, in my previous video, you didn't you download RetroArch, you download the FTP app, and then you'd use the FTP app to transfer files, uh, games, and BIOS files, etc., and the artwork, etc., onto the Xbox. But if you're doing this method, you can stick everything onto your USB, uh, you know, from your PC, unplug, plug it into the Xbox, and away you go. So on the Xbox, really, you just need the RetroArch um, app. Obviously, there's the other emulators that they provide as well. You know, the PSP emulator and the and Flycast, etc. So you can obviously uh, use those as well. But yeah, so that, that's it. It's quite straightforward. Like I say, it's the, this guide is on the uh, on their Discord. So please, you know, please check them out. Obviously, they, they've got options to, to donate and support them. So feel free to do that. Uh, yeah, so I hope, hope it helped. Um, any questions, pop them in the pop it in the comments. Please like, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel and you know keep the content coming. So yeah, I really hope really appreciate if you could subscribe um, and just yeah just to say as well I've also created on the back of this a, a Facebook group and also a discord server as well just link to the to the channel just as it's a uh, I think an e easier uh, method of people to chat and discuss stuff so yeah feel free to come along check that out join the group ask any questions you know comments on the on the videos that I have uploaded uh, I tend to post put a little post to say when I've uploaded a new video and people can comment there and or ask anything really ask any questions uh, if there's any kind of guides or information you want, um, put a request in there. You can obviously, you know, himself or someone else in the group can answer. Or you know, if, if it's you know, quite popular, I can make a video on it, make another video guide for the, for the channel. So yeah, um, yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for the support, and I'll catch you on the next one.